Hello, I'm Mr. 1365 and welcome to my channel. All right, in this video, I'm not, no, I'm not making scratch off tickets. I'm going to show people how to, well, it's not even, it's common sense stuff, make a fish tank without, you know, a glass bow. I'm going to be using a 56 quart plastic clear tub tote and which is like 16 and a half gallons and I already have this filter right here which is a Marine Land um, 150 and I, I just went and bought, bought the the filters for 10 bucks so I already had this container I already had this filter so I'm only wasting 10 bucks and the reason is let me show you this fish tank is a 10 gallon and well, they kind of keep it dirty. I clean the water every once in a while, but it's it's not you know perfect. So I'm going to see how this turns out, which is six more gallons bigger. So instead of going and wasting thirty bucks on a twenty gallon tank, I just waste ten bucks, and I have everything already. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrub it down. Because I kind of had it in storage for Christmas stuff, so it's kind of not see-through. See, look at my hand. You can't see it. So hopefully, if I put water and stuff on it, it'll slowly become transparent. So, yeah, I'll do that and see how it goes. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the difference, but I cleaned it with soap on the outside and... The inside I just cleaned it with a rag because if I clean it with soap on the inside and I put water in it and then my filter and I put fish in it, the fish will probably die because of the soap. So don't put soap in the container. <laughs> I just put it in the outside because it was kind of in my storage um, shed outside. So I didn't want to have a big giant dirty thing, maybe a roach or two had crawled around it in the storage thing. So, so good enough. Wait, let's see, you can see my hand, so you'll be able to see a big giant orange thing swimming around. And, yeah, now let me go find the spot. Oh, and the lid, I'm going to, hold on. So on the lid, a little dirty, <laughs> I'm going to have it on top, like this, and I'm going to maybe solder with one of those machine things that I have, a spot for the filter just to go in it. And just enough room so I can have the filter in and be able to have the fish and the water not splash around. Even though this filter doesn't have a cap on it. But I'll just use a plastic water bottle, I think, that you can just cut in half. Alright, I'll show you how to do it after that. Okay, so I'm just going to check. Crap. I'm going to see what my table is. I'm just going to set where it'll go. And I don't have the soldering thing, so I'm going to use a box cutter to do it. Hopefully you can do it. I'll just see where to go. And well... Hopefully be able to cut into it. And just cut to fit. There we go. That's how it would look like. You have it right there. The filter sticking down. I'll have to put one of those tabs in here. I don't have the bio wheel for this filter, so I'm off to wait and deliver it later. And I have to put a new cap. This thing was, I just had it thrown, so it's old. So yeah, that's why it's a little dirty. But look at that home. If not, I just cut the little piece off. But yeah. And then maybe put something like to go around it like that. But that's a future part that I'll probably just add. And for it to hold in the back, it <laughs> this plastic part 
didn't hit the top part where it like separates right here. So let me on. So I had to use a clothespin to hold it straight. All right. So now I just put water in it, let it cycle, and put the fish in and see how it looks like after. So now you just fill it up. After you have a place for it to go, after you test the filter and everything, try to make it work. <laughs> it's expanding a little, look at that. Probably just put some supporters on the columns right here, push it in a little bit. But I think that should be uh, fine since this will just go inside. I need a little bit more. Alright, I put the filter in. Can you see it? Yeah. The filter in. And now I get to put the stress. The coat and the zyme. So the coat is to kill the chlorine and stuff. So for this one I put... I had 5 for every 10 gallons, so it's about 16, so that's what? That's... Like a 7.5 milliliters. first time I'm doing one of these tanks so because I have another tank look, which is this one I have fish I got little little um, albino catfish and two garamis see I would compare that to that right there <laughs> and well it's just a temporary tank for it so we'll see how that goes all right now let me add the stress sign to build the bacteria and stuff I try on the filter let it run for a while get some water from the other fish tank and mix it around and see how it goes and then put the goldfish in and the next part would be what the fish inside of it and the final result look at that I had to make a, this thing out of a soda bottle, this plastic thing, because it kind of hurt the eye when we stared at it. <laughs> so now it'll give it like a little bit more of a view. There we go. This nice temporary home until I win the lottery <laughs> and get a big tank. But it's good enough for the size there are now, so. And this is 16.5 gallon and that's for, the filter is for like a 20 gallon. No, 30 gallon, up to 30. No, wait. Up to 30 gallon, which is that one right there. Oh, oh, oh. it's weird cartoons. <laughs> it's not the same filter I have right there, see? Because this one has a lid and it's all fancy. Later on, I'll make a custom, custom of one of those top parts for this one. I'll just put like a, a big triangle hole right here. And I'll put like a clear plastic and just like a up and down door or something to put to be able to put the like food in and fish. But yeah. I only wasted like five bucks on it since the carbon filter there's three carbon filters and each pack and each pack's ten bucks so each one came out to be what? Three fifty three three thirty three. So yeah, it was like at least three dollars. But yep. Pretty good for now. It don't take you like 10 minutes to make this thing, not like 15 minutes to make it. And see y'all later.